And this lady, when I first heard her on CD, I was very sure that she was from Jamaica. And, and don't get me wrong, that the last thing was a surprise. But she sounded very much from down home. And then I realized the similarity, what makes the difference is that whether she was from St. Kitts or St. Vincent or St. Lucia, Dominica or Guyana. Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago. The Leeward or Windward Islands. Cuba or Dominica. All right. Whether, whether, whichever she was from, she has Jesus deep down inside. That, that's what has endeared me to her voice. She doesn't just sing. She's not just a performer. She is a worshiper. She's not just a worshiper. She loves God. And she is a minister. I am not sure which one she does better. The preaching of the word or the singing of the word. But we're going to have her tonight to do the singing of the word. Amen. I'm going to ask you to stand with me. And I'm going to ask you to put your hands together for one of God's best, one of His loveliest, one that has journeyed with a good message, a message of joy, a message of goodwill, and a message of rejuvenation. To the stage this evening, ladies and gentlemen, is our most honored guest, Stand Up God, Bridget Lucia. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, if you love the Lord, let me see you lift your hands and give praise. Come on, don't do it like you do God of favor. Do it because you won't be up this morning. You're still in your right now. You know that it didn't have to. It was not the alarm clock that woke you up. But it was the breath of Jesus. I stop by your bed and kiss you and have you here tonight. Come on, somebody else to pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. God bless you. You may have your seat if you feel like it. I'm just happy to be in Calgary one more time. Just want to thank Pastor Kepler, the congregation of this great assembly, for the invitation to be here. And I am really delighted. I love Calgary. But the trip is too long. And I don't understand why it's after 11 in Florida and the sun is not yet down here. Can somebody tell me if I'm in, in Alaska or I'm in Canada? <laughs> Don't understand that. That means that everybody that saved should be in church when it's church time. That's right. Amen? Amen. And you should serve God a lot more because he gives you more sunlight. Amen. I'm just delighted to be alive today. Come on, somebody. It tends to take life for granted too much. If you're happy to be alive, let me see you wave your hands. Come on, come on. What did you have to find out about Sister Bridget? I love to give my praise. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus, and all that he has done for me, whether I'm from the Caribbean or Canada, America or Africa, it's all right to give him praise. Touch your name and say, it's all right to give him praise. All right, I want you to talk to the person that's next to you for a little bit before we get started. Touch them and say, how you doing? <laughs> say, I want to be the first to tell you you look fine. All right, say, I want to be the first to tell you. Some of you say, hello. Tell your neighbor, I want to be the first to tell you that you're looking fine. All right, let me let you get that out. But look at them dead in the eye. 
and said, if you did not come to praise God, said, now is a good time to move. But if you came to praise God, say, hold not back the praises of God. Tell your neighbor, say, hold not back the praises of God. Now the Lord has allowed me to travel quite a bit, quite a bit. But it's the first time that I've met a white man that's trapped in a black man body. Yeah, yes, my brother, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I think you need to check the bird paper again. You are a black man trying to escape from the white body. You got soul. You got soul. And you love the Lord. I love that about you. I've got a hammer. <laughs> and I want to thank each and everyone who took the time out to came and came out to sing it just to lift up the name of Jesus. Yeah. I want to greet my friend Colleen and all the members and all the friends that I've met the last time I was here. Get accustomed to my face because I'm coming back to Calvary. For those of you who don't like me, I'm immune to that. <laughs> that don't bother me. Spears don't get me down. Bad faces don't get me down. I am a Caribbean girl. It takes more than that to get a Caribbean girl down. Because if you know where I'm coming from, then you wouldn't even mess with me. I know what it's like to walk on the asphalt without shoes. I know what it's like to eat food without meat and still be contented. I know what it is to have and have not and still give God praise. You can't stop me. from Nigeria, I have a lot of friends from Ghana, and one of my Nigerian friends taught me a song, and I said, I love that song. It says, all of the gods, they are the welcome men. Yeah. 
this morning who kept me in my right mind. You see, and I know the next five minutes is not allotted to me, so I give him thanks. And I give him praise. You are the most high.
much. We are living in a society today that we have already forgotten the main reason why we worship, why we are saved. We are in a race for fame and recognition of the highest level. Yet, God has called us to be servants. Right. My God. If you will just flip the script, it doesn't matter how people treat us. As long as we are fulfilling our purpose there you go. in Christ. Can I get a witness? It's easy to forget once God has allowed you to take a platform and you have blessed a few people, it's easy to forget your mandate yes. while you're really doing what you're doing. Yes. Yes. And we become very tactful mm. and very status. Mm -hmm. Can I use that word? Yes. As Christians, we, we come with great responsibility, not for God, but for ourselves. And all God is asking us to do is to be available. Amen. Just be available to be my hands and my feet and, and tell the love of Jesus to anyone that you meet. And he said, behold, I set before you an open door. And when I open it, no man can shut.
And David ran outside and pulled up his garment and started to dance. And the wife stood at the window and did that. <laughs> she was thinking about her neighbors. When it's about time for me to give God praise, I will praise him in the white house, in the old house, in the black house. Because you don't know, like I know, what he has done for me. You don't know, like I know, the many things that he has took me out of. And because I sing, I kind of study music. Not in study it to play, but I study different types of music. Good God from my God. And I said, Lucifer must have been out of his mind <laughs> to lose such a job. That's right. My brother, let me tell you something. The job that you have, always put yourself last. That's right. Don't sing to impress. Don't sing for men's applause. That's right. When God trusts you to usher in his presence, do it, do it, do it. you don't even care if the chairs are packed up with stones or people. All your attention is on God. Everybody with me. And I was, I, I was, I got curious as to why. Lucifer did. And the word told me, the book I read told me that Lucifer recognized how good he was. Amen. He recognized that he had the anointing. Amen. And he recognized that his voice was just like the flowing waters. He recognized the gift, the gift, and placed the giver on the back burner. Lucifer puff up his chest and say, I am it. Right. Nothing happened up here without me. Yeah. Right. Come on now. I know you ain't got some of these people in Calgary, but you know some worship leaders? <laughs> they take their time and come to church. Yeah, because they're the ones who gotta sing. Mm -hmm. And if I ain't sing this thing gonna flop. <laughs> so they take their own time. Like they're doing the church and God a favor. But what you don't know, God has somebody else who can't even turn it off. But to replace an anointing upon them. You gotta lose yourself. And let God, let this be about God. Anywhere, anytime. It's always about God. Touch your name and say it's never about you. It's always about God. And when God of a praise and worship service not even the preacher can preach come on somebody call up Solomon and ask him what happened when the temple that he spent so many years building I wanted to dedicate it when everybody got a word of call and start praising God oh yeah mm -hmm. we ain't got nothing over each other we just need to plug into each other and if we plug into each other and we start singing, there will be a harmony in Calgary I've never heard before. And somebody will run and come and say, tell me about the man you're singing about. That's where we need to get back. All this division and foolish name and Jesus only and oh my God, I'm tired of churches. Last week in Brooklyn, I counted about 13 on one block. On one block. And we still can't come together. And we don't know that this time, we don't know when our number is going to call. Somebody say, touch your neighbor and say, number your days. Tell your neighbor, number your days. 
church. Say, don't be your days. You don't know when your name is going to pour.
up, boy. Give me to some far places. Some place called to Topo, where there's a lot of Indians. I didn't know they know God. Oh, yeah. Tell me the truth. Mm -hmm. And then she said, you know, she said, you, you put the reggae on it. But I, I like to be cool. And she said to me, you don't teach me how to sing that reggae. I said, Linda, ain't no, no much to it. If you grow up in the Caribbean, you're going to sing reggae whenever you want to now. That's right. Uh -huh. The pressures of life will make you put a beat in everything. Do I have a witness here? You want bugs for their work or not? Oh, that day when Jesus called my name. Or oh, I'll be somewhere. I'll be somewhere. I would find a little corner, but I thank God for his blessing, and I thank God that he brought me out. Tell the neighbor, wherever life meets you, you got to sing. Somebody says sing. Somebody says sing. Somebody can we say sing. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. I'm the only ask them to be my mama, my mama, my mama. 
So many praise him. So many praise him. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. I heard my brother say he's from old school. I love the new songs. But touch your neighbor and say nothing beat the old songs of fire.
telling you in the beginning, I don't give people much time. They have some folk that know that you miss them. And after you have gone to God, they still have you under lockdown. Every time you try to praise God, they bring up your sins. Can I just minister to somebody? I don't want to sing to you and your dance. I want you to be victorious in your dance. I want you to praise God with a purpose. Knowing that when people hold you in captivity, God has already released you. That's why I can't afford to get people. But can I tell you something? When I was a bit younger, I'm from the islands. What the sun didn't do, the, 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 the seasoning, the jerk, the pepper. That's right. Can I tell you something? I had an attitude mm -hmm. that if you get me, I'm going to get you back. Mm -hmm. And anybody that I heard said something about you or come to me, I say, I'm going to tell you a piece of my mind. Mm -hmm. You wait till I see that one. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. And after a while, I couldn't function. My mind was all over the place.
Jesus. Yeah. That will make me pull out my weave tonight. Come on. People of God, read your Bible, live by your Bible. Amen. God has never made a mistake. He said, Before I formed thee, I knew thee. So, Lord, you mean to tell me that you knew I was going to mess up in 2002? You mean to tell me that you knew I was going to make a big boom in 2004? Yeah. But I still ordained you. Amen. Amen. I knew all of that before your knowledge. Amen. But I still chose you. Amen. 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 So the devil had nothing over it. Amen. My gifts are without repentance. Amen. So all the fall, the, the many times you trip up, you are a converse. That others can read your life. I made you transparent that you can be a testimony. That folks, when they see that I brought you out, will know that I'm the true and living God. And if I brought you out, I will bring them out. Tell your neighbor, I'm a canvas. And any time. Anything happen to you and you're a child of God, it's because God is bragging on you. You're a pastor, right? Am I right? Yes. Anytime you're serving God and disaster or things come in your life, it's because God is bragging on you. The enemy cannot get to you unless God gives him permission. I need to go, I need to sing, eat two party and go to bed. I can't, I can't manage with people who you let, who, how dare you give too much privilege to other folk That's right. to make you unhappy by the things they say and the things they do. When life is so short. What makes you so special? Spoke about you, they spoke about God. Amen. Amen. And nobody escaped. Amen. Now when folks start talking about me, I start feeling happy. Amen. I say, yes, here comes another. Another promotion is coming. Amen. Promotion is coming. Another level. Every time. Sometimes when people not say anything about me, I say, Lord God. <laughs> In play Jamaican talk, nothing not go on for me. Nothing not go on for me. The minute people start to criticize you, there's a promotion coming. God is getting you ready for the next level. All you've got to do is check yourself. Amen. If what they say is true, yes. pray, repent, and go on. Amen. If what they say is not true, uh -huh. still pray, uh -huh. repent, uh -huh. Amen. 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 But by any means necessary, mm -hmm. I'm going on. Amen. I ain't stopping for nobody. Amen. Because what you think of me do not change the mind of God. Uh -huh. and if God says I'm going to succeed, I might have some delays in life, but I'm going to succeed. supposed to sing, right? <laughs> Jesus can make us of the old school. Now, 
Can you take me to that blue city track 15? The one that says fast. Let me see the hands of those who have never been to the Caribbean. The Canadian. Whoa. Seriously? Tell me about it. How could you not take a trip? Let me see those of you who like the Jamaican patty. You like Jamaican food. You like a big man. And don't buy a ticket. And go to see Jamaica. Oh, your list to do? Okay, well. We just took you to Jamaica about five songs back. Or is it still sitting here? They didn't play custom and immigration problem. So I think they send you back. Anybody here from Trinidad and Tobago? Yes. Say a word. <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad. Trinidad. Grenada. Grenada. Guyana. Sure. <laughs> mm. But on that side of the town. Mm. You see, I love Jamaica. Be wise. I'm from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, but from in school and after I left school, everywhere I go, Jamaica seemed like it's always upbeat. Whereas in the Caribbean Islands, everywhere you go, somebody say, "You, where are you from? The Caribbean? Oh, you from Jamaica, man?" So. In my book, it said, if you can't beat them, join them. Yeah. Smart, right? <laughs> so I said to God, God, I want you to give me a husband from Jamaica. <laughs> no laugh yet. I said, but I'm very particular. Because I kind of did a study on the Jamaican folks. <laughs> that was a good time for you to laugh. And I realized those people from Kingston are very fast-speaking people. <laughs> Swift tongue. They say, yeah, man, before you understand the whole story. They're speaking to you, but yeah, man, yeah, man, you know what, yeah, yeah, you know what I say, man, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what you're saying because you're not making a claim. See me, I say, see, see me, see me. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> but you're kind of moving fast. So I say, God, I don't think I can handle the big storm. Because I want to go to the event. <laughs> I say, I want one of the finest country guys. Send me. Although I said, why? I said, because I need to know how to cook. Because I'm not always willing to be in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm a child of God. Yeah, I'm a minister. But I'm also human. I love me some ackee and some fish. I love me some curry goat. And I love me some jerk chicken. The hot still is good too. Yeah. But sometimes you go out and you come home and you're tired. And you can't go to the kitchen. And if he can't cook and you tired, trouble. If you go in the kitchen and start speaking in tongues, pass the web in your house. Somebody has them both. Dinner. That's why the church has so much divorce between them because we mix this thing up. You can't wear the evangelist robe 24-7. Your ministry is also in your house. I don't know how you get ready to go to prayer meeting and your dinner and cook. And next thing your eye get swell up and you tell pastor your father. You know? 
exercising. Why? They have an anticipation. They want to make the Olympics. When you come into the United States from the Caribbean, you got to get certain papers together. The bank statement, the this, the that. You get everything together and then you go to the embassy because you have an anticipation of getting a visa. It is only the church that sings about heaven, talks about heaven. But we are not making any preparation. We are so lackadaisical as to our preparation. Everything needs preparation. But we don't play what the Bible tells us that we need to do in order to make it to heaven. But yet we don't, don't play what the man will tell us what we need to do to get to the Olympics. Do you, know, do you see where I'm coming from? Yes. And the new things, the new songs, I have nothing against them, we'll never have. And I'm so glad that you, 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 you know about the campfire, the camp meeting. We are losing our interest in church. When we come to church, we think that we're doing somebody a favor. We don't know that we are making preparation for heaven in our everyday lives and we think that we, we get so crazy now that instead of finding some place to sit and worship we find fault with who's in charge Amen. and God is saying what has my church comes to I remember the days back in the country when you didn't have clothes but it didn't matter you didn't have shoes one shoe fit every dress. Amen. Can I talk to my guy? Amen. 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 But that was your Sunday best. Yeah. Sunday morning service never missed you. Sunday night evangelistic meeting didn't miss you. Amen. But we have lost focus. Yes. And we knew how to sing the old songs of Zion. Amen. So we take the old songs. And to my sister, my Canadian sister, who has never been to Trinidad, Jamaica. Well, they send you back from Jamaica. Let me go to Trinidad. Can we take her to Trinidad tonight? I want every born again person in this house to just get something in your hands and wave it like that. Come on, wave it. Get something in your hand. Tell your neighbor, say, be a lighthouse. You see, I like to take time in between my songs to speak to you that you just don't dance to every rhythm and just sing a song. You must have something in your heart to know why you dance and why you sing. So lift up your hands and say, I am a lighthouse. A lighthouse for Jesus. Are you ready to go with me? Where are my truly people? Where are they? Where are they?
If you came to this concert tonight, you sang and you danced, but you don't know him. Such a sad thing. If you don't know him tonight, I'm not asking you to join any church. I'm asking you to surrender your life to him. And then he will direct you to a church where you can worship him. And you are standing in one tonight. And if you don't know him, maybe you don't have a church home. You can make this your church home. But my first, 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 first. I just need you to, to give your life to Jesus. If there's somebody here tonight, you're acquainted with him, but you really don't know him. Can I see your hands? It's okay that we can get together, we can sing some songs, we can dance. But when you're dancing out of the will of God, you're dancing in violation. Because you really don't know him. And after the concert is ending, your life is more important. Jesus.
there's a thug in my spirit. I know there's somebody here tonight. And you're thinking if I walk forward, what people are going to say? Let me tell you something. It's between you and God. What people want to say is their business. You're making your calling and your election show. Is there another hand? I saw one.
and surrender their lives to the Lord. I ask you to stand for them tonight.
with us. But God said, I've given you power. Within you lies power. You have enough power to pray for someone. You should believe that the same God who has given you that ability to reach out for someone can save you first. He can touch you first. That your prayers will not go out void. But your prayers will travel with confidence. So as you lift your hands in the atmosphere, surrender your hands to God. If you are a child of God, say, Father, these hands I give to you. Fill them with your anointing.
seek the face of God. When the devil comes to your house, stand up and declare, not here.
that somebody will be strong in the Lord tonight. Be not afraid of the plans of the enemy. But stand and push your shoulders back. Amen.